Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Steelbook Obsessed. My name is Jake, and I am in the mood right now to go thrifting. I try to hit up the Goodwill that's closest to my place of work at least once a week um, when I'm on my lunch break and I have nothing else and better to do. I go in here and see what I can find. Normally, I always just truck it to the movies just to see what they have. Hopefully they have good things. Who the heck knows? If I'm making a video, that means I must find something, right? So if you like this type of content, make sure you like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let's waste no more time and start going Goodwill and baby. It was a pretty gorgeous day to go into the Goodwill. Hopefully the Goodwill gods have good things planned for me. And looking at their movie selection, I at least have a lot of things to dig through, which is always a good sign. A lot of DVDs, but a smattering of Blu-rays as well, including this hardcover book for Epic, a movie I've never seen before, but the packaging really, really makes me want to buy it. They just don't really make a lot of collector's editions like this these days. And I think this one is a pretty dang good one. But scrolling over, I do see a few Blu-rays, Jackass 3, I already own this. It comes with awesome 3D glasses. I saw this in theaters in 3D, one of my favorite movie going experiences. It and the 3D at home works well. But the slipcover for Secret Life of Walter Mitty, dear lord, is that sheeny and shiny. And yes, I want this in my life. I think I own this already, but it does not have the slipcover. So I might have to double dip here. Another movie I've wanted to watch for the longest time, but have not yet, is Unstoppable. A Tony Scott movie with Denzel Washington and Chris Pine. It's what? Pretty much um, uh, Die Hard on a Train. Okay, or Speed on a Train or whatever. I don't know what the asylum is. I don't know why. I showed it off to you but it looks kind of cool I guess and then they have a good chunk of blu-rays here that I'll show off here I already have the expendables I already have red faster I'm okay not owning same with the vow it's just nice to see a lot of blu-rays to choose from I'm always a fan of that white house down I don't have I kind of regret not picking that one up Moneyball, I also already own but that one's kind of a kind of a thick boy so I might I might grab this one escape plan I already have the trilogy pack those are a fun movies uh you again do not own own, do not care to own and that's what a lot of these blu-rays ended up being just movies that i don't really need in my life so i'm gonna leave them for somebody else to grab lincoln lawyer i'm kind of on the fence of jack ryan i'm kind of on the fence of but i already have a lot of movies in my collection that i have not watched yet so i don't need to add any other ones to that i've seen cop out i don't need to watch cop out rock out with your glock out edition eh, i'm good kevin smith I, I, i'm good on this one but I do enjoy the maximum comedy mode back when they actually were trying to like put innovation into Blu-ray releases. But you know, it's November, so it's time to put out all your Christmas stuff. Here's a Christmas story too. I will take a Christmas story Christmas over a Christmas story too. Jingle all the way, I already have. Scrolling down here, what other Christmas stuff do I see? Oh, a Dennis the Menace Christmas. Did not know this existed. Don't need this in my life. I love the original 90s Dennis the Menace remake, reboot movie with Christopher Lloyd. That movie's great. Battle of the Bulge, have not seen. That's one I'm kind of contemplating picking up because I've heard good things. A Christmas Carol, no thank you with that CGI garbage Polar Express crap. I Just not my thing at all. In the Crease, random hockey movie that I've never heard of. I will pass. Keep on going. Keep on scrolling. We found some National Lampoon straight to DVD movies. I have not thought about these since the early aughts. But uh, yeah, there's three of them here. Really wanted to pick them up for nostalgic reasons, but I... Like I said, I don't need any more DVDs in my life, especially this Hallmark crap with Mario Lopez uh, handcuffed to Supreme the Teenage Witch. No, thank you. Parkland. Okay. Uh, movie I've never heard of, but let's go. Here's an installment in the Air Bud franchise. Chestnut, hero of Central Park. Oh, that dog. He's up to crazy stuff, ain't he? And yes, as you can see, oh, wait, Brady Bunch movies. I passed all the Christmas stuff to get to the Brady Bunch. Look at that lenticular. I might have to pick this up. This might be the exception to my DVD pickups. But yes, more Christmas stuff. Don't I've heard terrible things about Christmas Vacation 2. I don't think I need to soil the original with this sequel. Deck the Halls I've heard is fun, but I have not seen it. A Christmas Vacation, have Christmas with the Cranks. I have. It's it's okay. It's okay stuff. And then the original Christmas story, which is always a good thing. But after looking at the Brady Bunch, you always got to look at the DVDs just to see what condition they are in. And when I popped this sucker open, someone had a lot of fun with uh, the Brady gang. And uh, nope, I don't need that in my life. Let's just uh, wipe my hands and not think about what happened here. But I did get a nice beefy stack of goodies. Let me show you what I got now. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, 
Yes! I love it when I go into Goodwill and I find movies that I need for the collection. You don't know how many times I go into Goodwills and I walk away with Jack Squat, okay? Just because I come out with a lot of these videos doesn't mean I find stuff every single time. In fact, I probably find stuff every fourth, fifth time I go in there. Like I said, I go in at least once a week. I tend to try to do two Goodwill trips a week just because there's nothing to do in the town that I work in. Um, I used to go to Family Video, but that is no longer open either. So uh, it's just Goodwill to find my physical media on the cheap. And uh, boy howdy, came back with a sack. That's going over here because I had a stack in the sack. Oh, that should, that should be a saying. I had a stack in the sack. And first one, I'm going hot right off the bat because I owned this movie already but I did not know this version was a thing. And that is Moneyball. This is a thick, thick case. Like I said, I already own Moneyball right here, but as you can see, there's something, something different about these two suckers. And that's because this one comes with a bonus disc. And I looked on the back and the bonus disc includes Studio 42 with Bob Costas, as seen on MLB Network, featuring a 45 minute interview with Brad Pitt, Jonah Hill, Billy Bean, and Michael Lewis. That sounds great. That sounds like a special feature that should have been on the regular disc, but I'm happy to have it nonetheless. And it came with the slip cover. It came with the slip. Now, one thing that I have to gripe on with Goodwill is that they use the worst pricing stickers in the game. They, nine times out of 10, leave residue. So nine times out of 10, I leave them on there because I'm not going to get goo gone out and do all that stuff. I will show off the case and I will show off. You know what? I, I will show off the inside. Let's see if all of these old movies have codes, shall we? Um, this can be your lucky day. There's a code for Moneyball. Ultraviolet. Is that even out anymore? <laughs> is that even a thing anymore? I don't think it is, but maybe it'll work somewhere. Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet turned into movies anywhere, right? I think it did. Throw that over there. We got that. We also have a, a promotion for PlayStation. Sony tablet, excuse me. It has the buttons of PlayStation, but there's that. Some nice inside artwork in here. Rare to see, but I love it. I love the snapper case too. Listen to this. Ooh, that just locks into place. Back when Blu-rays came out, and we're a hot commodity. Oh man, everything in here is themed. That is great. Okay, so we get like the classic Moneyball font on the Blu-ray, but then you open it up, you get two DVDs. The special feature or the bonus disc is on the DVD, but it looks like grass. It looks like turf from the field. That's so cool. I'm a, I'm a fan of this release. Every single one of these movies, by the way, since I bought five, they were $1.99. Normally they're $249, but the guy gave me a deal because I bought five of them. And yes, I did buy five and I had no idea this was the type of deal that I could get at Goodwill. I didn't know buying in bulk paid off at Goodwill. I just bought, I don't think I've ever bought five releases at this Goodwill at the same time. The next one I bought just because of the packaging itself. I'm gonna attempt to take off this sticker because I feel like this one cannot have the sticker on the spine. Uh, see, I'm already taking it off and it's already becoming a royal pain in the bootay. But look at this packaging for Epic. Got that hardcover storybook S case. I've never seen this packaging for this movie before. I've also never seen this movie before. So I'm hoping that it's good. Uh, 20th Century Fox back in the day, back when it had its own uh, Blue Sky Studios. Um, I don't think there's a digital code in this booklet. Nope, there is. Redeem anywhere, movies anywhere, or ultraviolet, ultra ultraviolet, ultraviolet right there. Um, there is that code. I'm hoping that you can see it. I'm hoping that it is focusing. That should be up long enough. But I enjoyed Blue Sky Entertainment or Blue Sky Studios when they were uh, a thing. It comes with the DVD right here. I do believe that these discs might fall out one of these days. I don't like how they're kind of like housed in. It's not cardboard, it's like a it's like a harder plastic. The Blu-ray is on the back right here. But then it also comes with like a storybook, like an actual storybook. 
which is why the packaging is how it is. Very, very cool. Um, I don't know, I'm a fan. Here's what the spine looks like with the sticker there. When I'm not filming, I will try to take that off a little bit cleaner, but have you seen the movie Epic? Should I have left this? Was this worth a buck 99? Let me know in the comments, please. Three more movies left. I thought I owned this movie. I did not. And it's one of those movies that I feel like I've seen half of. I feel like this was on Stars a lot back when I had Stars. Um, the main reason why I picked this up was because of the packaging. And I have wanted to check it out. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Look at that slipcover, folks. Dear Lord, does that sucker pop. They don't make slipcovers like this anymore. I will tell you that. This is so shiny. Shiny on the back as well. Just only boutique labels come out with stuff this high quality. Again, we got just the basic case. Let's see if there is another. Hey, this is a newer one. This one works on iTunes, folks. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Again, I remember... I remember liking what I saw. I just never caught the entire thing ever. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's good. Again, I do not remember, but, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of Ben Stiller. I know Sean Penn is in this movie as well. Does anybody want a Shutterfly book? Here's a uh, free code for Shutterfly books. I don't like keeping the digital codes in my movies. I just throw them. It's just taking up excess space. Can't have that. Got to show off the glorious artwork on the discs when it's actually there man i'm just happy i love that i found all of these movies that are 10 plus years old because they all came with slip covers or they're hardbound books uh the next one is a movie that i also could have swore i had in the collection i looked i used the my movies app and it has come in handy come in clutch a lot i highly recommend um digitizing your collection. Um, uh, the My Movies app is phenomenal. I might make a video on that one of these days because I feel like not enough people talk about it, but the collectors that do use it, use it a lot. Um, that, that's another discussion. Here is the Lincoln Lawyer. Um, I've, heard, I've heard promising things about this. Um, I'm hoping that it's good. A two disc set. It's got a making of featurette on here. I'm a big fan of Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right. All right. We got another iTunes code. This is a very old iTunes code, but normally iTunes codes work. Doesn't matter how old they are, they will just continue to work. I don't even know if this one has a uh, expiration date on it, does it? It does not have an expiration date that I can see. Oh, no. 7-12-2012. So, if you're able to use this 12 years after it expired, please let me know in the comments. I am very interested, to say the least. I will keep these type of paperworks in there. Uh, read all the Lincoln Lawyer novels by Michael Connolly. Like, this is stuff that I want to have in here. And, like, old Blu-ray advertisements. Yes, yes, please. We just have the basic uh, poster artwork on the discs. But like, man, doesn't that just bring you back to when like Blu-ray was originally coming out? Promoting releases like T2 and Cabin Fever and Saw 6 and Crank High Voltage. Yes. Uh, I've been collecting physical media for a very long time if I'm getting nostalgic about that. Last but not least, I don't know if there's a 4K version of this movie out. I've been wanting to watch this ever since it came out. I don't own it. Again, another shocker. I could have swore I had it. I need to finally get around to watching this movie. Denzel Washington, Chris Pine, Tony Scott joint, unstoppable. This is what, pretty much speed on a train? Like, okay, <laughs> that sounds great. I like Chris Pine, I love Denzel. I've heard that this movie is a load of fun, so why have I not watched this movie already? Very excited, Tony Scott is a uh, slept on director. I know that he is uh, passed away, RIP Tony Scott, but his filmography is very strong and this is a movie that I need to watch. And these are the movies that I got. This is the stack, the stack of five Blu-rays. I'm very happy to add each and every one of these to the collection, 10 bucks. I'm still shocked that I got all of these for 10 bucks. Very, very cool stuff. 
Let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite out of the bunch. Very, very curious. We got a lot of different genres to pick from here. Mine probably is Moneyball, but again, it's the only one that I have seen. But Moneyball is very, very solid. That's also another movie I haven't watched in a very long time. But now what should I do with this copy? It's the exact same thing. It just had an extra disc as a collector. That's the stuff that I'm looking for. Like, oh, this seems like uh, they didn't make a lot of copies or it was only used in the first run. And this is a better version. And this one has a slip cover and da, 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 da. This is just a perfectly fine copy as well. Don't let my pickiness go to waste, okay? We need to give this copy of Moneyball a good home. I'm trying to think of like a good way to give away movies on here. I've done it on my YouTube lives a few times. There's gotta be like a, a better way to do it though. So let me think about that or you can give me your suggestions in the comments. I'm asking you for a lot of things. Thank you for watching this far. This has been Goodwill Hunting and until next time, I'll see you. You found the after credit scene. Good for you, good for you. Um, this is the first after credit scene I've put on a Goodwill video, a Goodwill hunting pickups video. So my question for you today, if you got all the way to the very end, you're the only ones that know about this question. What has been your favorite Goodwill find you've ever, ever found? I have a couple that ring true in my brain and make me keep on continuously going back to Goodwill because you just never know what you're going to find. The first one, I found a 4K player. Actually, I have a few. A 4K player was one, a, um, a, a VHS DVD recorder with an HDMI hookup. That was another one. Uh, both of those were like eight bucks each. And then I found this old tub of toys that had a whole bunch of old 80s and 90s action figures in there. Just nostalgia in a bottle. I I have a, a short of that video somewhere on my channel. God, I, I still salivate at finding something like that nowadays because it was literally just Rugrats and, uh, um, oh God, the little rubber guys. What the crap were they called? I can't remember now. Uh... There was a uh, Toxic Avenger toys, there were Darkwing Duck toys, Earthworm Jim toys, a lot of great, great things that I wish I had as a kid. So finding them as an adult, just, you know, time capsule nostalgia in a box. It, it was phenomenal. Let me know what your favorite Goodwill finds have been. I'm truly interested. And, uh, um... I think this time I hit a ground rule double. Let me know your goodwill home runs. Bye-bye, Billy Bean.